Hi guys, welcome back to AlgoTest. Today, we've got truly something game-changing to share with you. If you're a trader looking to gain a competitive advantage in the markets, you're in for a treat. We're going to be explaining in this video how our simulator tool works. So the simulator is essentially your time machine. Picture this. Imagine being able to step back in time and witness the outcomes of your options trading strategy without having spent a single rupee. Isn't that pretty cool? Imagine being able to see your payoffs, your Greeks, and so many different things change in real time without having to worry about losing money. Well, that's exactly what AlgoTest's simulator tool brings to the table. So let's get straight into the video. I'm on the AlgoTest landing page at the moment, and I'm gonna click on go to dashboard. Get rid of this pop-up. And in the navigation bar, I can see a new tab that says simulator. I'm gonna click on that. Right, so there's a lot of information on this screen, but don't worry, we're going to cover all of them with a very simple example. So first and foremost, let's say on the top left, I want to pick the Bank Nifty Index. You can pick the other indices if you like. I'd like to pick the Bank Nifty Index and I want to go back in time. I want to go back in time to, let's say, August 10th, 2023. Okay. And this would be an expiry day as it is, as you can see, a Thursday. And at that time, Thursday was the expiry day. There's also an option to select the 17th of August, 24th of August, 31, and so on and so on. So first and foremost, let's say I'd like to trade an iron condor. I don't usually trade an iron condor, but let's say I want to trade this strategy and I want to see how the Greeks and how the payoffs and etc. changed in the live market with the changes in spot. So let's build that first and foremost. I'm going to sell this option and buy this. I'm going to sell this option and buy this. Now, as I was placing these trades, you can see that my payoff was changing over here, right? That's exactly what's gonna happen. As soon as you add an option, whether you're buying or selling or if it's a future, your payoff will con constantly be changing. So this is what the payoff will look like finally for my trading strategy. At this moment in time, it is 9.16 a.m. As you can see over here, it says 9.16 a.m. What I wanna do now is I wanna simulate this strategy. If I traded it at 9.16, how did the PL, how did the probability of profit, how did the payoff, how did all of these things change? as the market went on and as the spot price was changing. We can see there's a section over here that says strategy statistics, right? Here, it tells you your total MDM, your max profit, your max loss, spot price, it shows you whether it, how it opened as well. In this case, it opened 98 points below, which is about 0.22%. Then it tells you the Indivix and where how that opened. It tells you the risk to reward, it gives you your probability of profit. It gives you your break-evens. And it also tells you your break-evens as a percentage measure. So in this case, if the market went minus 0.63% down or 0.71% up, those would be my break-evens on expiry. Moving on to this section where you can see strategy Greeks. Obviously, this tells you your delta 0.02, your theta, which is 100 your gamma, which is minus 0.00, your vega, which is 0.24. And of course, these will be changing. If you so wish, you can click on this toggle button and you can get the Greeks in rupees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this top right section and I'm going to manually change the time every five minutes. So I'm going to go forward by five minutes. Click on plus five and you can see we went from 916 to 921. Click it again takes you to 926. While I'm doing this, you can see that my MTM is changing over here, right? Started at zero and now it's at minus 99. So I can go forward or backward by one minute, five minutes, one hour, or even a whole day. But let's say I don't want to keep clicking on one, one, one minute, but I want it to happen automatically. We can do that. So in this section, you can see there's a tab that says autoplay. Over here, you've got options that is going to automatically simulate this for you. So let's say if I want to move forward by five minutes every five seconds, I can click this. For now, let's say I want to move forward by one minute in real time every one second. So every one second of real time, the market will be simulated by a whole minute, right? And I'm going to click on autoplay. 
And as you can see, time is moving on its own and my payoff is changing on its own. My Greeks are changing. My statistics are changing. Now let's say you're building a strategy and you want to enter at a specific time. You can do that too. You don't have to keep clicking on plus five or plus one to get to the time, right? Let's say if I want to start trading at 12 p.m. only, then I can just use this slider over here, which is super convenient, and go to 12 p.m. Right? Now, you can see, as usual, the statistics changed, and this is kind of so much more intuitive than having to click on the timestamps and keep going forward. So let's refocus on this option chain over here right now. I'm going to scroll up a little bit and you can start seeing there's some warning emojis or indicators. So these are nudges to let you know that these are illiquid options. Essentially, this means that the bid and ask prices are too far apart and there's not much because there's not much liquidity here. And as a result, if you trade these options, while you may see point to point data on the simulator, this will probably not be the case in real life because you'll see heavy slippages. Again, because not enough people are trading it, meaning there's not enough liquidity. This was on the call side, and you'll see the same thing for very deep ITM options on the put side. Over here, you can see a tab that says option chain. The next tab actually shows you your positions. And once you're simulating, you know, going forward in time or backward in time, these will be changing as well. And you can see the changes per leg. What's, what, which leg is making a profit, which leg is making a loss. If you would so like, you can square off a particular leg. So let's say I'll pause this simulation here right now and I'm losing a lot on this leg. Let's say I want to square this option, right? You can see my payoff, payoff has instantly changed. And I might want to keep this position or I might want to add an adjustment. It's totally up to you, you know, whatever you'd like to do. But the point here is to demonstrate that you can square off whatever option you like and you can go from a neutral strategy perhaps to a directionally biased strategy or whatever you would wish to do. The next tab over here shows you your Greeks and this will tell you your Greeks, not just your net position, but also individual leg wise. So I've bought the 44,300 put one lot for the 10th August expiry with an IV of 34 on the leg. I can see the individual Greeks for this leg. It's minus 0.15 on the delta minus 22 on the theta, 0.003 plus on the gamma, and 7.26 on the vega. Same thing for the other options as well. As you can see, this, op this option is showing you none, because of course we just squared it off. And on top, of course, you can see your net position, your net Greeks, as you can see it here as well. So one thing to note here is you can trade calendar spreads or anything that's further dated as well. So what I mean by this is, let's say it's the 11th of August, 2023 and the current week expiry is on the 17th of August. So I could potentially buy this week's call option and I could sell the monthly call option and then I would get a payoff that looks like this. Now what I can do is I can simulate this one day at a time. I can go ahead by one day and I'll just keep going by one day until you know I arrive at a particular point. This is very useful when you're trying to build a strategy and you're trying to see how this strategy can be adjusted, how you can add adjustments to it. Or perhaps you want to make the strategy delta neutral and you want to see, okay, at this point, it's a good idea for me to square off my XYZ leg and add this leg or sell this leg or buy this leg and make my strategy delta neutral once again. There's millions of permutations and combinations that you can explore and so you can build new strategies and new ways of adjusting your new strategies without losing any real money in the markets. Another really cool feature that we have on our simulator is the high low feature. So if we go here to settings and you check the show low and high prices, you can see that you've got little numbers down here that tells you essentially the high and low prices of every option or every leg that you've traded in the time frame that you're simulating. So this essentially tells you the high and the low, which will give you information about spikes. If there are any crazy spikes that happen in the market, which is obviously more and more of a common side these days. So that's it for this video, guys. This feature is free for a limited time only. So we would advise you to make use of that. If you build any interesting strategies, post it on social media and tag us. We'll have a look. Thanks for watching this video, guys. See you next time.